Hi everyone, this is Angelica. How are you today? Thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be titled uh, Receiving Signs from the Divine. So um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about how I receive signs currently. Um, and it's always kind of been this way for as long as I've been going through a spiritual awakening. Um, I receive most of my signs through nature. And spirit really speaks to me um, in a more natural environment. So I really, really love being outdoors. And I really love just being in nature. And that grew in me um, over time as I have um, progressed on my own spiritual path. So if I ever am feeling kind of stuck and I don't know what to do and I don't have the answer to something and I and I need to get that energy moving within me, um, you know, moving in a sense to, to bring me to another place where I can kind of open my mind and expand in my views towards that, I always go out into nature and um, what, whatever kind of nature that may be. Um, I just absolutely love it and I'll see signs all the time um, a lot of times um, I see signs through birds birds really um, speak to me and call to me um, I'll see specific kinds of birds like especially bluebirds um, I see a lot of bluebirds all the time and um, bluebirds of course are they're called the bluebirds of happiness but um, for the longest time, there was a certain kind of bluebird here where I live that I would always, always see. And then I was like, I wonder where the other little bluebirds are, the ones that are like littler with kind of like red on their belly. Like I, I've seen different kinds of bluebirds um, in other places that I've lived. And I just didn't see those ones here. And then um, just by chance, um, about eight, ten months ago, when I was walking, I started seeing the new bluebirds appear. So, um, and that's kind of strange for like birds that, you know, weren't here for a long time to just appear out of nowhere. When you ask something, um, you know, sometimes it will appear, it seems. So, um, it's always good to be um, aware of your thoughts and what you're feeling and thinking because these things do manifest on an outer level. Um, now, of course, you know, it, you're not always going to be thinking, you know, happy thoughts, but um, if you could try to redirect it to that, it's best. And if you're stuck in yourself, like I said, and you're going through this thing where you just can't get out of it, being outside, um, even gardening, or just being with the natural world will um, instantly take you to a place of just feeling more in tune and in balance with yourself and the natural environment. So um, one of the biggest things right now is it's starting to get really warm here in Northern California and um, all the little blossoms are blossoming on my favorite trees, like the cherry blossoms and the plum blossom trees. Um, and I love that. Those white blossoms and pink blossoms are so beautiful. Those are my favorite, and they usually come around this time. <clears throat> Another thing that comes around this time is um, the white butterflies. Now, I've seen um, some monarch butterflies here, but the white butterflies are the ones that I can speak with telepathically. I can speak to the other butterflies telepathically too, but I can mainly speak with the white butterflies the most. And that might sound strange, but, and you possibly, um, you viewers, um, are usually in tune with animals or the natural environment in some way. So you may have other experiences with this where you have witnessed yourself being um, talking to um, 
to animals or um, butterflies. So I realized this when I lived up um, in Arcata up north. I realized that um, there was lots of white butterflies up there too around this time of year. And I was sitting there and I just said to the butterfly, I said, you're so beautiful butterfly. You're really beautiful. And they respond really well to positive um, thoughts. And um, the minute that I start sending this loving vibration to the butterfly, um, the butterfly immediately goes to like a leaf or a branch and it, um, and it, and it just perches there on the little leaf or branch and it starts flapping its wings because it's happy that you're um, saying how beautiful it is. And then you just say, oh, you're so beautiful. And it just like flaps its wings. I know it sounds really strange. and um, But it's true, especially with these little white butterflies. Um, I've tried it with the other butterflies. And the other butterflies do it too. But it's it's almost like it takes a the wavelength that I'm on with this particular, the particular white butterflies is um, a different kind of wavelength that is for um, the monarch butterflies and the other different kinds of butterflies. So anyway, I just wanted to share you got I wanted to share that with you guys and um, see what you thought and see if you had any other kind of experiences. Now, as far as like the birds go and stuff like that, I don't have any um, I don't communicate with the birds, but what will happen is I will be pondering on something like questioning things or, you know, just really kind of in my analytical thinking mind too much, you know, I kind of need to let go and release that occasionally. Or I do occasionally, but sometimes when I'm too much in my mind and I'm, I'm walking or I'm jogging or running or hiking, I will... Um, the bluebird will come to me and be right there. And then I realize, oh, okay, you know, wow, it, this is just a sign from the divine that um, will divert me out of like that thought process. And then I know everything's going to be okay and everything is okay and everything is beautiful. And that's what the bluebird um, represents. The bluebird represents... Um, um, happiness and luck and good fortune to me. Now this is the same with like numerology and numbers. You may have different things out in nature that you connect with more and then those things will be signs to you that you are on the right path and that everything is going well. So um, those are like my main two those are my main two things, um, but signs in nature, they're just, they're just abundant. They're all around, and if you really, really open your eyes and really look at the natural world, it will speak to you, and you will, it'll speak to you in a way that is very, very, um, um, just, just, you will just get so much clarity and awareness from really opening up your eyes and looking and nature. And I've done this since I was a little girl. I have this just affinity and love for nature. And I lost that um, for about 10 years there in the middle uh, when I started going through, you know, just the crazy stuff. And um, then when I went through my spiritual awakening, I started becoming more and more clear and aware again as I started moving through some of these things. Because the more clear you are, the more aware you are, the more accurately you can be in tune and see the natural world and the other worlds for that matter. If you um, want to go beyond that, that's what happens when you go through a spiritual awakening. You become very sensitive and it opens up all of these different worlds and realms. So, um, so I just wanted to really tell you guys that I'm really, really happy with the beauty of um, coming into springtime. I think it's just magical and beautiful. And um, I love, I do so much better in the sun, in the, sum, in the, in the warm weather. In the winter, I always find myself um, just kind of not as 
um, up and energetic and happy. And so I'm really happy that that the weather is changing now into into spring and then summer. So um, thank you so much for watching this. And if you have any, you know, stories about, um, you know, your ability to communicate with the natural world and um, receiving signs from the divine, maybe, maybe not even in the natural world, but in other ways, um, please um, let me know because another another thing that I really, really love that are really good luck for me are hot air balloons. I don't know why, but whenever I see a hot air balloon, and I think they're only here like certain times of the year, and I can't remember when that is. Should probably pay attention to that. But if I see hot air balloons in the sky, I'm like, oh wow, that's so magical. Like that is for me a sign and recognition that things are really great, really positive, I'm on the right track. You know, same with seeing my numbers that I really like. My particular numbers are four, eight, and eleven, and I really like twelve as well. So um, whenever I see these things coming in, certain letters and license plates, um, certain number combinations, then I realize, oh, okay, I'm going with the flow, things are good. But then when things are blocked and I'm realizing that um, things aren't coming in that way, that's good too. I mean, that is, that's how I know that I'm moving through a certain process that needs to take place in order to bring me higher into um to myself so um, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that it has helped you and I also hope that maybe you can relate to some of the things I've been talking about and if you would like to schedule a spiritual guidance session with me please go on my website it's below the video and have a magical day thank you bye